today's ceremony inspires. The one I would like to begin with in gratitude is, how can we know where we're going in life if we don't remember where we've come from? And with this in mind, Wendy and Jose would like to begin this ceremony by thanking their parents, their siblings, and all of you for being here with them on this most special of all days. Good things happen quite often in the middle of difficult times. Because as strange as it may sound, of the clarity that uncertainty brings. In light of recent events, Wendy and Jose came to the realization that why not sooner rather than later to begin their happily ever after as husband and wife. Both Wendy and Jose consider themselves to be truly fortunate to have grown up in households with parents who have shown them a wonderful example of what it means to be husband and wife and live together in a way that nurtures the soul of your marriage. And perhaps this is why they were able to recognize that beyond the fluttering of their hearts, theirs was the kind of relationship that had all the ingredients needed to be true and lasting. And here we are to celebrate their belief in love and life and in the goodness of the future ahead. Wendy and Jose, marriage and life itself are so full of twists and turns, and happiness is often less about the events that surround us, but how we choose to look at things. In the midst of all the challenges and changes that the past year and a half has presented, in the shelter of one another's arms, there was always a sense of peace and trust in the goodness of the future ahead. There in the privacy of your hearts, you already made your vows to take one another for better or for worse, but never for granted. So I'll ask you now if you're formally and publicly ready to make those promises that will join your lives and the lives of all of your family and friends together as one. 
Wendy, I become here today with love in your heart to take Jose to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that this life has to offer. Thank you. Love him, honor him, comfort and keep him for each and every day of your life. And Jose, have you come here today with love in your heart to take the beautiful Wendy to be your wife, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that this life has to offer. You love her, honor her, comfort and keep her for each and every day of your life. Wendy and Jose, may God bless you and keep you. May you have many joys and truly be the light of one another's days. What do you think? Come on. Come on. Show me your life. it is to be with the people we love, especially when celebrating life's milestones. That all of you have made the effort to be here with Wendy and Jose to ensure that they were surrounded by your love as they made their marriage vows. It means the world to them because they know it isn't easy on so many levels. And yet your efforts show that you love them just as much as they love you. Wendy and Jose, they know themselves to be truly blessed to have such wonderful families with the vast majority of you about to be joined together as one family from the moment they share their first kiss. That today is a rather intimate gathering is something that our bride and groom are truly thankful for. They cherish the idea of having the opportunities to connect with each of you on a more personal way and to be able to have conversations that sometimes get lost in a larger room. You're supporting them in their decision to marry here in this time and place and way, that their happiness brings joy to the soul of this family, it only reinforces their belief that theirs is indeed the love of a lifetime. Wendy and Jose, thank you. We are present here today and for being there for them through all the moments and decisions that has taken to make this day. Wendy and Jose have asked Jennifer to come and read at this time.
bride and groom have also chosen prayer for a marriage by Bud Henry Bowen. Bless our marriage, O oh God. As we begin our journey down the road of life together, we don't know what lies ahead. For the road turns and bends, but help us to make the best of whatever comes our way. Help us to hug each other often, laugh a lot, talk more, and argue less. Help us to continue to enjoy one another as we did when we first met. And help us to realize that nothing or no one is ever perfect. And to look for the good in all things, including ourselves. Help us to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams, and even fears, although we may not always understand them. Help us to learn from each other. And help us to help each other grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Help us to realize that there is a design and a purpose in our lives as in the world around us. And trust that no matter what happens, we will always hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good. Help us to create for our children a peaceful and stable home of love as a foundation upon which they can build their lives. But most of all, dear God, Help us to keep lit the torch of love that we share in our hearts now, so that by our loving example, we may pass the light of love on to our children, and to their children, and to their children's children, now and forever. Amen. Before we proceed to the ring exchange, our bride and groom have chosen to write their own vows that they would like to share with one another. the memories that you embody in the world. 
be where them every day from this day forward as a faithful and loving husband and wife. Mm -hmm. For say, do you take Wendy to be your lawfully wed wife? Do you vow to love her and to care for her for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept her with all of her faults and all of her strengths? And offer yourself to her as a man with all of his own faults and strengths? Do you promise to help her when she needs help and to go to her when you need help? Do you promise to be a faithful and loving companion and to always keep the vows that you made this day above all else? Woo! <laughs> 